So far we've created the three triangles. The last triangle is the scaling triangle. Simply is a triangle with no equal angles or sides. I'm going to create this, but I'm going to change the color and the layer. So what I can do here is find layer properties. And this will allow me to create a separate layer. If I hit F1, it will give me more information. But I'm just going to open that up. And this feature right here is the one that allows you to create a new layer. All you have to do is select it with the left button on the mouse. That's the number one button. It just created another layer. And the color white is what it's going to be unless I click on this and change it to a different color. I'll select OK, and you'll notice that this is now yellow. So the next line I create will be yellow if I put it on layer one. So right now you got the default. I'm going to hit this down arrow and layer one will appear. So I could click on layer one, meaning if I create a line, it's going on layer one, which will be set to these defaults, which is yellow in this case. I should be able to change the line weight to something different, select OK. I'll go ahead and close off the current layer list. That's X is on the top left corner. Y, I don't know. Everybody else has it on the top right corner. And for whatever reason, when Dassault wants you to click on the window, close it, they want you to pick the X on the top left corner. So I'll do that. And I will use the line command to just create an arbitrary triangle with the snap grid active. And I'll just go ahead and create some sort of triangle here. And see where it says endpoint? I want to close it off. And then I'll click line again to just turn this off. So that's what you have uh, a line or a triangle with no equal sides and no equal angles. Okay? Just for kicks, I'll put another one right on top by creating yet another layer. So we'll find the layer feature and activate that. Add a new layer. It defaults to layer two. You can name it something else if you want. It defaults to the last color, but I want to be creative and try a different color. Um, it changed that same thickness, but I, even though I have my line weight thickness active, it's not doing it. So I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong, but I have it active. I do have a thicker line weight. I will turn this off and just I'll put just for kicks a triangle on top of a triangle here just do something like uh, wait a minute I want to use layer 2 so I go to layer 2 click a position and it automatically changed that to uh, yellow click a position and then use the end point to make sure it snaps to the end and then I'll click line to turn off the line feature and there you have it those are your four different triangles I'll go ahead and go to text and uh, we'll give it a name and capital letters on where we don't know what the value of A or B or C is all we know is they're not equal to each other okay so again if you want to try that make a layer use the new feature to create a new layer choose some type of color thicknesses should all be the same a little bit thicker than the rest and then you can close it off and build your triangle make sure to change the layer so it knows that you want it on a different layer because layer 3 is active, even though it's purple, when as soon as I click, it'll go away or switch it back to the blue color. All right, there are your examples of how to create a triangle.